Hello, welcome to Floss Tube out in the woods again. Uh, yesterday, um, yeah, and cheers. Mm. New made coffee out in the woods is just nice. Um, yesterday, it was like pouring cats and dogs, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna be able to do my floss tube uh, outside. But when I went up this, well, not morning, I went up around like 10, 10.30, uh, I saw that the sun was out and I was like, yeah, let, let's go out and do it. This, this is me, this is my thing. So I'll try to do as many floss tubes outside as possible. Um, yeah, so it has been two weeks since last time and during that time I've been uh, stitching on my Mirabilia. This Christmas Eve. Uh, I haven't brought any of my projects out uh, because it, was, it had been raining so much I didn't know how soggy it was outside so um, yeah, so I will insert a picture here of uh, Miss Christmas Eve and I will show you the progress. And uh, I think since the last time, uh, I know at least I've started stitching the dark greens, which you can see on the left side. Uh, and there's quite a lot of that color and I got yeah, I got kind of bored and all my other projects were calling me. So uh, I haven't only stitched on her. Uh, and let's see, 14 days ago, they released um, a letter B on the mythical creature cell from Pain Free Crofts. And it actually took me a week to finish letter B, which was the basilisk, and it was so awesome. Uh, here is a picture on the basilisk, and I think you can even see the Anubis. Uh, the colors on that basilisk is just, wow, amazing. I love this uh, stitch along. I think. I, it's the best ever. I love Heaven and Earth design cells when they had it before, but this is so cool. You do not know what to expect. And today they released letter C, which were the uh, Cara. Mm, it's a three headed dog, so it's like um, the same species as Fluffy in Harry Potter. And it's like a brownish, uh, maybe Sienna color and not so much back stitching so I think this will go pretty fast and it's gonna look awesome and then the top row of the letters will be done so that's so cool uh, so yeah I stitched the uh, stitch along the first week then I started my mirror mir my uh, mirabilia and oh yeah last weekend I actually dedicated some time to my once upon a fairy tale and I decided, as you all know, if you follow my stitch along, um, I decided to pick another color. So here's the picture on Once Upon a Fairy Tale. It makes a lot of difference when you change colors. So I actually got to stitch a little bit on that. After I finished the YouTube video, I kept on stitching the rest of the day. So that was kind of nice. Uh, and for my next stitch along, keep an eye out for that. I will pick yet another color. Yeah, I think I will do that. So, um, yeah, and then as I said, the stitch along with the mythical creatures. Um, then a little bit of Mirabilia and then my Once Upon a Fairy Tale and then I kept on Mirabilia until yesterday. Then I was like, no, 
I need to get back to my grandmaster duck. So I actually sat down and stitched most of the day on him, but I was busy with a lot of other stuff. So I didn't get more than seven, 800 stitches in, but still it's progress. And it's all white because I'm extreme cross country stitching that duck. So you won't see much, but here's a picture of that. Yeah, um, so I'm almost done with all the white. I've done the birds up in his face, uh, on top of his head, his face, his neck. And now I'm almost done with the top, uh, you know, the whites in the top of his clothes. So the next step, once I finish that last part, uh, it's the, all the birds he's holding in his arms. And then there's the arms and then I'm finished. So, but there, there's a lot left, I think. Uh, what did I see? Was it like 12,000 <laughs> stitches? It's crazy, crazy. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So I'm looking forward to get some color into the duck so it will be easier to see and all that. Oh, I'm gonna show you a new technique I just learned from YouTube. It's uh, starting with a loop with one strand. And I've always started with a uh, pin stitch before if you know I don't want to you know turn my project uh, upside down all the time and I didn't like you know that you have to pierce the the thread in the fabric it, it, it's fine you can do that um, but this method is a loop from the front so I'm gonna show you guys that that's so cool I'm so happy uh, about that uh, and I think that woman who makes those videos has showed all I've also learned the pin stitches and all that from her so she, she seems to be like awesome with finding out new techniques yeah so uh, those were all my um, progress pictures um, I don't know if you mind me showing a picture of it instead of you know showing you in the camera but you know there will be days where i'll be sitting back home and then i will show you the the progress in real life <clears throat> yes so what's next um yes i have a little bit of haul not too much um i need to switch the way i'm sitting i'm not so <laughs> young and yeah so let's start with my memorabilia collection or whatever you should call it I bought uh, three out of print patterns yes and when I saw the winter queen and summer queen in on Hawking Hawkins Hobbies page, I understood that there must be an autumn queen and a spring queen. And yes, there were, but they were out of print. So I've been chasing those patterns for a good price. And this is autumn queen. No, I will take her out. I will do her justice and take her out of the plastic. Yeah, that's Autumn Queen, very beautiful. And I paid $45 on eBay for her. A bit pricey, but yeah. No, not on eBay, I'm lying. It was on Etsy. Um, I think it was $45. But I think this one, Spring Queen, she is just so lovely. And if I see that the pictures look not so good uh, here in the video, I will just insert pictures in the video. But I noticed that a lot of people wanted this pattern 
and you can get it from I, I, I asked, asked one who wanted $45 and then I've seen higher up all the way up to a to $100 and I was like no no that's too, way too much and all of a sudden somebody was selling it for like $20 like the normal price and I'm like ah bye and she had great ser service uh, she was very kind. Uh, she was from the States on eBay. And um, so I got those two. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, now the sun is going uh, behind the trees. Um, but the cool thing is uh, that I ordered uh, the Winter Queen and the Summer Queen on Hawkins Hobbies. And then I asked them. Could it be that you guys make kits for out of print patterns as well? Uh, because I'm a bit lazy, I don't enjoy, you know, searching for threads and beads and all this. I, I liked it before, now I just find it time consuming. I want a kit, I want a stitch. And they were like, of course we do. You know, it's just a pattern which is out of print. All the things are, you know, out there, so we can help you with that. So I'm getting all four kits for the queens. And I'm very, very, very thrilled about that. Yes. And as I've promised before, uh, we're gonna take a closer look at the Hawking Hobbins kits you get for the Mirabilias. Now, to the last out of print pattern, which I'm quite sure I will also get a kit for in the near future. But this is the fairy ideal. It's number 21. And why I like it so much, it's not so much the fairy and her dress, which I enjoy on all the other ones, but there's not a rabbit, I think it's a hare, hare, uh, a rabbit, you know, with long ears. And, uh, and there's some, um, it's not, there's a lamp, but there are some like angel statues here. Uh, the, the detail in this uh, picture really caught my eye and it looks so nice. She's holding um, a dove in her hand. It's like she's throwing it a kiss or telling it a message or something. So I got that one as well. I'm very happy about these. And I didn't know that the Mirabilias gets, you know, they, they get quite big uh, when you stitch it on 28 count. So it, it actually takes quite, quite some time to stitch. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I got something very nice. I got myself a f owl forest and this picture, this is home to me. This is Sweden to me. And when I saw it, and I guess it's like kind of a sampler. So when I saw it, I was like, I gotta, I, I gotta have it. I got to have this. And it's a full kit. I haven't opened it yet, so I, I haven't looked inside. And I can't do that here. But I will do an unboxing uh, at home, maybe later today, and put it out. Uh, for you guys to see it and we'll take a closer look what's inside um, I have a plan for this. I'm planning to bring this to my stitch along uh, No, my stitch treat Stitching retreat. I'm going to in April and then I was thinking of bringing this and stitch on that. Yes. Oh I'm so thrilled about this I read somewhere that it took like way long to get the kit but to me no it may be two weeks so that was fine that's all the cross stitching haul i have i know that my fabric from crafty kitten is on its way um and yeah and then then i have my order from hawkins hobbies which will be sent as fast as they're done with all the kits uh, i've actually asked for a quote for a new uh, randall spangler uh, mini design from heaven and earth um, 
it's cold, everything is easier with a little bit of chocolate chip, something like that. It's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, you know, those dragons and all the chocolate and the books and the wine and the cat. Oh, I will link it down below. But I have another project. I was thinking, no, I'm not going to start knitting. No, I'm not going to start crocheting because I've done a little bit of with that before and I'm like no I'm cross stitching and that's fine I left diamond painting I don't know when I'm getting back to it but then there was a cow a crochet along and the colors in the yarns were so beautiful so I couldn't help myself So I got a little bit of yarn. I got two of these. So it's gonna be a big uh, shawl and then a just a base color. So it's dark blue. Yes. And they were gonna show and of course I got one of those as well. And they are going to release parts of the pattern I don't know I don't remember how often it was I don't know if it's over four months or six months but you know since I'm cross stitching and everything I'm not going to be able to finish it all that fast but and it's very big as well you know it's like a big shawl and it looks like it's the same pattern all the time so I'm not sure but I'm gonna give it a try so yeah yeah I like to have things around my neck and I want some color to my clothes at work. I think it's very nice and I think it's just awesome if you can do it yourself. So that's it. Um, when my hauling is ending because, uh, yeah, I might be buying a little bit every now and then but not like in the amount I've done anyway I, I mentioned that before but maybe next time or the episode after that I don't know which episode it, is it seven now so maybe eight or nine whatever um, I'm actually thinking that it's time to bring out the old projects the old finishes not from heaven and earth I've showed you my finished heaven and earth in my first floss tube but I have some old other finishes from other companies and I was thinking maybe it's time to take a look at that. And uh, yeah, that's, what, that's, that's, that's all for today, I think. Um, it was nice to get out in the woods and get some coffee and yeah, have a floss tube in the woods again. It's just awesome, but without the tent today. So I just, I'm just sitting out on the ground. It's nice. Uh, so yeah, um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below uh, spread the word with the giveaway at 500 subscribers uh, hey don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't done that already uh, and then I will see you next time thank you for watching